just a second. Now a little bit of friendly banter coming in from Delphi saying he's ready to roll in Barol. And let me just get the awesome new intro up and running here. So. Ladies, gentlemen, mesdames, messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, Senores y Senoras, mesdames et caren, good evening, guten Abend, like you just saw, dobre vice, dobre vice, good afternoon, good quet, buena notte, good avant, buenas noches, buenas era, konnichiwa, xin ciao, ni hao, anyong, salam alaikum, shalom, namaste, kamusta, yonora, and here we go. I am Special Andre. This is the Four Players Close Combat Cup number 45. We are in the finals for this 200 euro tournament. We have a ZVP like uh, five out of uh, six games are a PVZ today. I'm really happy about this. We have ESC's Delphi in the finals played a really, really awesome series so far in the tournament against various um, Terran and Protoss opponents. Imbarol is his opponent who just rolled over Saracen um, in the semi-finals in the PvP so Roll is spawning here as the Teal uh, Terran not Zerg not but Protoss player in the bottom left with me co-casting today is Brizzy uh, he's a member or a trial member of Imbu TV I'm not too sure about this but just tell us and how you doing I'm doing really well, enjoying the cast so far. But, uh, introduction wasn't as good as mine Andre but I'll give you props it, it was a good effort and now I just showed everybody this awesome intro, and guess what? I was not full screen once again. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> but don't worry, this is the best of three, everybody. So this means we have two out of three games uh, that needs to be won by um, the winner, basically, yeah, in order to win this tournament. So in the next game, I will show it to you once again in full screen. And be currently, because it's a um, quick time format for the video, I won't be able to show it to you on uh, directly on XSplit, uh, the streaming service I need to use. So um, I need to use this crappy quick time program which I don't like at all and Roll is just getting with his probe back in his base just in time he's at 5 HP and 0 shields left but he just got there in time and Roll is playing here very risky playing with fire a little bit with his zealot trying to take out a zirkling but um, now with the sentry out, he is preventing any Zerklings from getting in. And I really like this about Roll, that he's still chit-chatting a little bit uh, with his opponent. And like you said, the friendly banter we had early on in the game. And yeah, looking forward to this game. And Delphi now, take a look. Going for the hatchery, but not at first, because there we see the spawning pool already finishing the metabolic boost. Yeah, there was a little bit of a pylon placement going down from Imbarol at that natural expansion, but it was dealt with in quick effect by two Zerglings and two drones, so I think he forced the cancel on it. So he didn't really delay that hatchery as much as he would have liked to, and uh, it's now finishing up for uh, Delphi. Yeah, and um, looks like Delphi is here going in with a sacrificial overlord, but I think 5 minutes 50 seconds is just too early in the ZVP to move in. I mean, yes, he will spot a 3... Uh, of those gates and he knows okay it's three gates but still if Roll decides to go for this uh, five gate uh, fake expand or four gate fake expand all in he still could build up his gate race right now and uh, it looks like he's not doing this it looks like he's indeed going for the three gate expand uh, researching the hallucination and take a look at um, Delphi he is going for Mars Zerklings right now he's going for a Roach Roar and I think Delphi might go for this two base uh, Roach Zerkling all in play yeah it looks to be a very aggressive build from Delphi I saw that that Nexus is coming down so you just want to take that out early and it's a very heavy sentry count right now um, on the field for Ember Roll so with some nice force field placement you can negate these Zerklings very easily but he's going to need uh, very good micro yeah indeed he does and uh, there are the Zerklings moving in 
do we see a full suite on the ramp? Actually, no need for this, because the Zerglings realized, ah, okay, if I would attack right now, or if I would commit to anything, I will probably uh, use uh, lose all my units without actually doing any damage at all. But I mean, uh, take a look at this, more Zerglings moving in, more Roaches moving in, and now here, uh, the sentries are just at the Zelnaga Watchtower, but all those units are already streaming into the natural expansion, and now the Zerglings can do some damage to the Nexus. Meanwhile, we have the Roaches here in the back, and more and more of those units streaming in. Zerglings now forcing some more force fields um, at the uh, front where the Roaches are, but more Zerglings just streaming in. Uh, zealots get taken out, more units get warped in, and I think it's time for Delphi just to wait a second or two until more reinforcements are there. Speaking of those Zerglings in the back, they are now running in there, and looks like um, he's applying a lot of pressure to roll right now. Yeah, I really like that move from uh, Delphi where he just kited those uh, sentries across the middle of the map and then did a bit of a rope-a-dope underneath it. So it was kind of a two-pronged attack going in there. These roaches are being thinned out from uh, Delphi. He's going to have to retreat a little bit, gather his forces and go back in for another try as uh, it has been successfully defended by Roll for the time being. Yep. Yeah, um Absolutely, I would not have thought that he would have uh, would have been able to defend this quite well, uh, like he actually did. And I would really just imagine Delphi waiting 20 seconds for all those forces to accumulate. Uh, like, let him move out in with uh, 10, 15 Zerglings and like 8 or 9 Roaches, but instead he's just losing more and more Roaches. Let's take a look. Is he continuing to um, commit to this attack? Ah, he's going for two spine crawlers because he knows... I might be in a little bit of trouble. He's going for some drones because he needs to keep up with the economy, but he's mainly still focusing on the circling ro drone, pr uh, circling roach production, just to have stuff out. And stuff is actually what he needs. And I think he might actually be going for an attack pretty soon, or at least go for another um, base. Meanwhile, take a look here at the six o'clock. He's got some circlings in position. Yeah, the Zerglings shocking around as Zerglings often do. We do see the uh, probe count has reached 40 to the drone count of 30 of Delphi right now, so he's sitting in a bit of a deficit on that drone count. He does need to uh, catch up and possibly get another hatchery underway as he does need to be sitting on one more base than roll. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, uh, supply is pretty much even 74, 74, but... Guess what? A roach takes two supply, costs 75, 25... Uh, Stalker nearly costs double the amount of resources and takes only two supply as well. So if you have um, two armies in a ZVP with the same supply and you take a look at the unit counting station, you see some roaches in the mix. Uh, like 98% of the time the Protoss player uh, with the same amount of supply actually has the better army composition. Yeah, definitely, especially with that uh, Immortal on the field and another one ready to be uh, popping out momentarily. It's going to be hell to pay for those roaches if they don't take care of that's immortal. Yeah, take a look at the army tab. Uh, I mean, uh, Roll invested 600 um, more minerals and 600 more gas in his army composition, basically meaning um, he invested so much more gas, meaning he's got a more versatile uh, more diversified army composition, especially take a look at those sentries. He's got enough energy for at least 12 force fields, and he will be able to force field the shit out of everything. But now, Delphi is going to go for a run by here. Yeah, the Zergling's just waiting out at the side, but I think he's going to be a little bit uh, shocked to find that there are incoming forces going in from Imbaral with two Immortals and a, a lot of sentries that are going to be doing some nice force field placement. As I say that, it does go down segmenting the forces of uh, Delphi straight away. And this is a very big aggression coming in from Imbaral right now. He's forced him to pull those Zerglings back, and uh, all these roaches are falling quite fast to those uh, Immortals. Yep. And Immortal's doing good amount of damage. I mean, the spine crawler is doing a good job at using his Impaler Tentacle just to keep on poking here. But in the end, it's just uh, all those force fields cutting the armies in half, and he's just um, pounding through all those units. I mean, take a look at his instructor Immortal already killed 14 units, and I guess most of them are actually roaches and not zerglings. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Delphi on the back foot here, big time right now. He only has those four roaches on the field. And he is going for a drone pull as well. So uh, 
It's a bit of a white flag going up for him right there. There is a proxy uh, proxy pylon in place, just reinforcing with some zealots as well. All of these drones are going to fall in quick effect, and these roaches are just going to go to the back line, get a full surround on this Protoss army. But um, as in control usually says, if you're going to attack a Zerg, make sure you do heavy economic damage, and uh, that has been done by Imbarol. Yeah, I mean, um, with no sentries being there anymore, um, Delphi is actually able to clear this attack up, at least in those stalkers on the low ground, even not those. Um, if we take a look at the harvest account, it is 44 probes, 22 drones, and that's basically about it, even though Roll is only in like in a 5-6 supply lead. Like I said, it's just the roaches, and um, if you just send a 200 Protoss army against a 200 Roach army, guess what? Uh, the roaches die, and they die fast. Yeah, Colossus now joining the fight for Roll as well, which is going to be a great addition to that force. And uh, Delphi really has no answer to that Colossus right now. Those roaches are not going to pay dividends against this force. Yeah, well, it's just um, wait and see until Delphi GG's out of the game, basically. In so comes roach, that attack. Yeah, just tell us a little bit about it. Okay, the roaches are basically getting toasted, and there goes the GG. <laughs> so congratulations to Roll. Um, and I think it's not like Roll won this game. I think it's still Delphi lost the game. He just was streaming in with all the single packs of units, like four zirklings, two roaches. Just imagine him waiting for just at least a couple of his units just to move in, strike... Um, have a lot of Zerklings taking the damage, uses Roaches to take out one sentry after another, but he was a little bit too over-eager, he just wanted it too badly, and uh, even though you can go for this two-base um, Zerkling Roach all-in, it still was simply not enough. Because yeah, uh, it's a common just, fall from a lot of players. I mean, you see red, you smell blood in the water, and you just overcommit your forces, and that's exactly what yeah. happened. When your shark senses kick in, and then you realize, oh, I'm just a shark, my brain is actually not that big. Especially against toilet paper. <laughs> Especially against toilet paper. Toilet paper, uh, the natural enemy of a shark. <laughs>